Hi, this is Christy Marie Gott. Today I'm going to show you one of the popular shopping carts so you can get an idea of what's involved if you're setting up your e-store. PayPal is a partner with a variety of popular carts. So let's go to PayPal and under Get Paid, Sell on your website. We'll go ahead and scroll down a little bit. This page explains that selling on your website can use both credit cards and PayPal and it takes about 15 minutes to install your PayPal button. Here's a variety of different sizes. It's just a matter of pasting some code into your site and the PayPal button is designed to work with a variety of popular shopping carts including Vistaprint, Eventbrite, Pinnacle Cart, and so on. There's no credit application, no setup fees, and you only start paying when you start receiving payments. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these shopping carts. Now these um, shopping carts are partners with PayPal and let's take a look at eJunkie which is one of the popular ones. And we'll go to the eJunkie website. And we'll take a look at the pricing. Now eJunkie says there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. They only require payment of a flat monthly subscription fee. There's no bandwidth cost and no transaction fee. And let's scroll down and look at their uh, number of products. If you had 10 products, you might be able to sign up. You can sign up for as little as $5. If you've got 20 products, it would be $8 a month. If you need more storage, it would be $10 a month for 20 products. If you had 40 products, that's $15 a month fee. 60 products would be $12 a month. If you were way up there with 150 products, that would be $16 a month. So it, uh, and so it goes larger and larger. Um, if you had as many as 1,999 products, that's $145 a month. And now let's take a look at the features that you get when you sign up with a shopping cart. Sh the uh, shopping cart will provide you with a copy, paste, buy now button and shopping cart. Um, for you to sell your digital and your tangible products. And they will take care of interfacing with the payment processor and they will also do a secure and automatic delivery for your digital products. This is if you're selling software or ebooks. They will enable you to provide a secure and automatic delivery of those products. <coughs> now scrolling down, um, it explains there's digital storage and delivery for files and codes. There's PDF stamping for ebook security. This is so if you're selling an e a PDF ebook, it can be stamped with, with the buyer's name, email address, and unique transaction ID which discourages the buyer from um, sharing that file. There are multiple payment choices for the buyers. Credit cards, PayPal, and so on. And there are copy-paste button codes for their pop-up free, installation free, shopping cart and buy now buttons. And as you can see, uh, there's a uh, the help and how-to section 
is extensive, you also will have, um, you can also uh, contact them if you need telephone support. And up here is the contact area. And you would use this box to send a form if you have a question. Uh, if you have a service outage, you can call this telephone number. So you can get help and support and guidance if you run into an issue. This concludes my brief overview of a typical shopping cart. So you'll be ready to turn your WordPress site into an e-store if you are going to be selling digital or tangible products. Thank you very much for visiting today. Happy computing and have a great day.